Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Angela and here we talk about perfumes and fragrances and everything here that smells nice. So if you like that sort of content, I highly suggest that you subscribe down below. So today I have another blind ball, blind buy fragrance haul for you guys. And I actually got two separate shipments. So I already unboxed two of them and I have two that still need to be unboxed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the packaging looks like. So this one I actually already had a sample of, like a small sample and I decided to get the full bottle. So this isn't exactly a blind buy, but. So this is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Evene. This is what the box looks like. I already took the plastic off. So it's like a really sturdy cardboard, if you can tell. Uh, everything here is paper. It's like a cardboardy label. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, oh, there you go. There's like the Van Cleef Arpel logo right there. And then you open it up and your fragrance looks like that. So the bottle itself has, this is also paper. The uh, only thing that concerns me is like staining the label. But yeah, it has a little charm. Yeah, I love this bottle. It's so elegant, so classy. Okay, so the scent itself, let me take it out. Okay, so the scent itself, I've already talked about this one, but it's a very soft, very, very beautifully blended vanilla orchid, chocolate, almondy scent. It's so, it's so beautiful. It's like the type of vanilla that you wouldn't think of when you, when I say vanilla, I usually think of like super sweet, super sweet like synthetic vanillas, but this one is more of a, like a dry vanilla, if that makes sense. It's not like sugary sweet and it's not overwhelmingly vanilla. So the opening is predominantly vanilla orchid. So it's kind of florally and then it dries down to like this chocolate, gourmand, almondy, but still dry vanilla scent to me. It's a very comforting and like friendly, cozy scent. So yeah, it's great for winter time and it is more of a skin scent on me, but but it does last, but project as much as I wish it would. But yeah, very, very beautiful. I love the little sound effects. <laughs> Okay, my second unboxing fragrance is Armani C, and this is Le Parfum, which is a discontinued one. So, let's see, once you open the box up, it comes in a little bag like this. I actually haven't smelled this one yet, so yeah, excited. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. I love this design. Uh, okay, so the scent, oh my God, I'm so excited. The scent, okay, it's supposed to be like kind of a boozy, dark, ambery, smoky, spicy scent. So yeah, okay guys. So I'm just gonna spray it on the box. Okay, this really smells like like a dessert wine to me. Like, you know those like Canadian, really syrupy, thick dessert wines? They're called like ice wines or something. This really reminds me of that. Um, so I'm smelling some black currant. There's something like medicinal about it. Like, I don't know It's like if it's benzoin, but it's like a little medicinal um, in the opening. I don't know about the dry down. It's ambery, it's smoky. I'm getting a little bit of incense. I don't know the notes, but it's like smoky, ambery, and a little bit medicinal. Yeah, it has a little bit of vanilla too, I don't know, but it's not what I was hoping it was. It's a little too medicinal for me, but, um, but I'm hoping that that really, uh, that changes with the dry down. Um, yeah, so it's like a medicinal, ambery, vanilla, kind of smoky, medicinal scent. Yeah, and I can tell it already projects as I can smell it from just what I spray. So yeah, I will probably have an update on this in the future. So if you guys want to hear more about that, I will probably be making a video about this. So that is Armani C Le Parfum. Okay, the next one I was so excited to get. This one is probably the one that I like the most out of this haul. This is Fall de Afrique by Byrido. Okay, so the packaging is very simplistic. The cap is magnetic, so, okay, the magnet is kind of, but it is magnetic. So yeah, this is a very unisex scent, 
So it's very clean, very fresh, very woody. It is very unique. It heavily smells like cedar wood. So it's very, very woody, citrusy in the opening. So the opening is very like sharp, very fresh, very crisp. It has that kind of like sour, crisp note. And it is sweet. It has that like, like it has that tiny, sweet, woody sweetness. Um, but when it dries down, the sharpness goes away in about like an hour-ish, 30 minutes. And it turns into this beautiful, like creamy, piney, zesty scent so good this is probably gonna be my new like fresh clean scent very unisex very good for like all year round this could be a signature scent in my opinion so yeah really really love this one out of all all of the blind buys that i've gotten so yeah that's by rito balia freak okay and the last one is a very popular one this is paco roban olympia olympia so this one when i smelled it I didn't know that someone had made a dupe of this. I had gotten this like years ago, not years ago, like a while ago. And it is B by B Layered. It's called Me. Um, so this one is like almost exact of the Olympia. And usually on their website, they have like, they have categories of like inspirational dupe fragrances. But this one was one of their, I guess, original creations. So I just got it because I didn't know what Olympia smelled like, but this one is like an exact dupe. I will maybe make a video about like a comparison video. If you guys are interested, comment down below, let me know. But yeah, very, very similar. Um, so I was a little bit surprised when I smelled Olympia. So this one, it's a very like kind of salty, caramelly scent. It opens with some citrusy bergamot and dries down to like a salty kind of sweet caramelly scent and it has that animalistic vibe which i'm guessing is from the ambergris if you guys don't know ambergris is like from wales originally so yeah it has that kind of like like unique weird like animalistic vibe to it so again i will be doing a comparison video maybe in the future because i have a lot to say about this compared to the bee layered one so yeah this is Olympia, very good longevity, very good projection. Yeah, I think I have a new thing for salty fragrances, so we'll see. <laughs> okay guys, and that is all the fragrances I have for this fragrance haul. I hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment down below if you guys have tried any of these fragrances before, what you think of them. And I will see you guys in the next video.